Welcome to the TextPros tutorial, Getting the Route You Want Using ViaPoints. This video was produced by the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles Motor Carrier Division for users of the Texas Permitting and Routing Optimization System, also known as TextPros. Before the introduction of TextPros in August, the division's permit specialists used a combination of printed state, county, and city maps to manually route oversized overweight loads traveling through Texas. TextPros has modernized this process through automated routing and restriction management. TextPros users have access to several useful routing tools. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the ViaPoints tool to get your desired route. Let's get started. The dimensions and weight of the load we will use for this tutorial have already been entered. We will begin on the route entry screen where I have set the origin as the Oklahoma line entering Texas on US 287. I have set the destination as the intersection of IH-10 and Market Street in Houston. TextPros users have the option to accept a route based solely on the origin and destination points, or enter via points to obtain a desired route. Let's first see what route we will receive without setting any via points. The route enters Texas on US-287, travels through Amarillo, Wichita Falls, the Fort Worth and Dallas areas, and then IH-45 down to Houston. TexPros gave us a good route, a fairly standard one. But what if we don't want to travel through the Fort Worth and Dallas area? What if we have some highways in mind that we would like to use? Use the collapse screen arrows to return to the route points information, and select some via points. Via points will allow us to make our route suggestions to TextPros. We have the option to enter highways or select via points on the map. Since we have a general idea of what highways we want to travel, let's enter via highways US 287, US 83, and State Highway 36. Be sure you use commas between the highways. Other punctuation or symbols can result in routing failure. Also, don't use lat long coordinates or addresses in this field. TextPros won't recognize them. Let's try out our first set of via points. The route enters Texas on US 287, travels US 83 south to Abilene, and gets on State Highway 36 from there toward Southeast Texas, just as we suggested through our via points. If you look at the detailed driving directions, you will find TextPros filled in the highways we didn't include in our list, but that are a necessary part of the route. For example, our list didn't include State Loop 322 between US 83 and State Highway 36, but TextPros included it in the generated route. We will need it to get from US 83 to State Highway 36 without traveling through downtown Abilene. Now let's just say that we know we want to travel through Abilene and Colleen, but we aren't quite sure what highways that would entail. Let's return to the route entry information. In this instance, we would use the option to enter via points using Find on Map. First, delete any via highways previously entered. Then select Find on Map. The link to select locations on the map will appear. On this map, we will be able to select multiple via points. Let's select our first point in Abilene. By entering Abilene in the city field, the map will zoom in. In order to make a selection, the zoom level must be at zoom level 14 or higher on the zoom slider bar. If you are not sure what highways you will travel through a given town, select a point on a major highway because that is more likely to be a part of your route. And be sure to select a point that is traveling in your general direction when the via point is on a divided highway. Once you have selected a location, return to the city field and enter the city of the next location. Let's mark a second point in Colleen.
Now let's see what route we will get with our selected via points. Once again, TextPro used our via points in generating our route. The route travels through Abilene and Killeen. We only entered two via points, but this option can be used for several. It is also a good way to direct the route to use a preferred side of a loop. Now, if we had not received our desired routing, we could do one of two things. One, we could adjust our via points to direct the route towards a preferred alternative routing, or we could elect to send the route to the Motor Carrier Division for review by a permit specialist. To submit the route, click on the box next to, I have a problem with the route. Then add a note in the provided field that explains what via points you want. You may also include information on the issues encountered. A permit specialist will review your permit and notes and then use their specialized knowledge and their text pros tools to try and provide your desired route. If you elect to send your route to MCD for review, you will enter your payment information but will not be charged until the permit is issued and returned to you by the Motor Carrier Division. Finally, we need to look at two possible routing failure messages users could receive. First is, failed to generate trip. This simply means that there are construction restrictions, low overhead obstructions, or roadway conditions that prevented the vehicle from being routed. This may or may not be related to your via points. You can try adjusting the via points for your trip and retry route validation, or elect to have your trip reviewed by a permit specialist. Second, routing via highways violated percent over length. It is important to note that Texas Administrative Code Title 43 states that permitted vehicles be routed over the most practical route, taking into consideration the size and weight of the load, road construction and conditions, traffic conditions, and route designations by municipalities. Texas DMV recognizes that some motor carriers have extensive knowledge of Texas highways. Because of this knowledge, we allow TexPros users to set route via points. However, because we must also comply with administrative rules, Texas DMV will only allow the additional mileage caused by the via points to exceed the mileage of the direct TexPros route by 25%. If you receive this message, you can try adjusting your via points or elect to have your trip reviewed by a permit specialist. This concludes the tutorial on using via points to get your desired route. For additional information and more tutorial videos, visit the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles website at www.txdmv.gov. Enter keyword TexPros.